What is up, you fucking fucks? It's Monday, and it's time for the fifth installment of my series, Canvas in Five Minutes. And today we have a very special one. As most of my fucked up stories start, I was on Twitter, and there was a reply in which I was tagged by the big homie Sean. He said, yo, Ken Wheeler, this thing uses Canvas. Want to try and give us the lowdown on how this works in five minutes? And we have about four minutes and 30 seconds left now. So let's see if I'm up to the challenge. Uh, so essentially what we're recreating here is using Canvas to take screenshots of the browser in JavaScript. And it's an un fucking leaveable pain in the ass. Um, but I created a, a reduced case that we can take a look at now. I'm not going to live code this shit. We don't have time. Um, so, uh, my first step was I made Sean a, a website, very Craigslist style website. Sean's fucking awesome site. Hey ladies, I'm Sean, but y'all can call me Swix Mix. Um, you should, I should publish this on something like now and give him a business card, but I digress. Um, let's say we wanted to take screenshots of this, right? So what I wanted to do is, uh, drag my cursor and create a screenshotable region on here. Um, and then get an image from it. So let's see how that works unbelievable pain in the ass um, so when we're gonna create a region the first thing that we need is a little bit of state here to keep track of the start and end positions so that uh, you know we know where our region is um, also in doing so right usually you only want to do that when it's pressed so we keep track of a pressed state this is our initial state um, uh, so we have this uh, preview div over here and then some uh, some event listeners up in here, right? So the, the the preview rascal is essentially our little viewfinder. So when we're, when we're drawing, we're dragging, right? That's the thing that is like, hey, this is the piece of the site that we're gonna screenshot. Um, so uh, here's some regular logic just for doing that, right? On mouse down, we're gonna stop all the other events. We're gonna say, uh, we're gonna set our start position and press to true. Um, and then we're going to show our preview div on move, right? If we're, if we're pressed, which means we haven't gone up, um, we're going to continuously update the end position and then update the selection. I'll get to that in a second. Then on up, right? When you mouse up, we'll do our screen capture and then we'll reset the state and put everything back. So update selection, what that does while you're moving, um, we go through and we call this thing, get coordinates, Right, so a lot of stuff here. If you've ever done a selection before, um, you don't only select forwards, so you can't just say it's from you know left here plus width, right? You have to say if the if uh, end y is less than start y, then you know just do your shit backwards. But I digress. Um, when we come mouse up though, we call this screen capture, and this is where this fucked up journey begins. Um, so just like the other thing, right? We get the coordinates of what we we're trying to snip. I can collapse this for now. Um, pull this over, right? So uh, we come here, we have our content, right? Which is our actual content area right here. Uh, we get the dimensions. And then uh, here's the first part of this, which is crazy. You have to build an SVG, an SVG string. So we start with an SVG and then we use a special uh, XML tag in here called foreign object. And this essentially lets you create an SVG with HTML inside of it. Um, and it is finicky as fuck. Um, you know, so many things will lead to this being fucked up. And that's why there's libraries around doing this. But essentially, you have to uh, recreate all this shit. You know, if you have like external style sheets, you have to pull them in and inline them. If there's images, you can't have external resources. You got to base 64 them for this to work. That's why there's libraries. And um, but, you know, I have a simple example, so it doesn't matter. Um, so you build up this SVG string, um, and then down here you, you uh, use your BTOA to uh, throw this thing into base64, right? Then we're going to create a new image instance, um, and we set the SRC to the, the base64 SVG of this HTML content. When it loads, right, we create a, no, a new canvas right here called the snipper, right? Um, and we want it to be the width and the height. So this is going to be the width and the height of our preview area. Um, then we're going to draw in. Now, you got to understand, it, it, it's it's a the image, the SVG image is this whole thing, right? So if you want your, if, you're, if your area that you're screenshotting is smaller than the whole thing, um, the X and Y 
uh, you you essentially do negative so that it offsets the drawing um, so that it starts drawing in your little area where it belongs. Um, after you've drawn right your base 64 SVG into the canvas, then you can call on the canvas itself to data URL PNG here, and then I'm able to then go create an image tag, set the source. We're going to give it a green border and then append it to the body. Check this out. So now we can take screenshots in the browser. How fucking crazy is that? But yeah, that's essentially how that works. And trust me, it is a fucking shit show. I'm Ken Wheeler. This is Canvas in five minutes. You see that button on it? You see it says subscribe? Fucking click that shit. I'll see you next time.